Hey, good evening, everyone. It's been a day of unexpected things, and I was unavoidably detained today from carrying out what has become my new routine of posting a video to you every day. But I still wanted to come back this evening to offer a blessing and a prayer. You know, the idea of blessing in the Old Testament is a really powerful concept. It was usually carried out by a father for his children. He would bless the next generation and speak words of life and, and God's provision over them. And it was very important. You know, in the story of Jacob and Esau, we find Esau comes back and laments missing the blessing after Jacob had stolen it. And he pleads and begs and says, Father, don't you still have something to bless me with? It's a very powerful concept. Yeah, so much so that we even find God giving commands through Moses to Aaron and his sons who were the priests to bless the, the people, the people of Israel, and to speak blessings over them. And that's where my thoughts turn tonight, and I wanted to speak that very same blessing over you tonight. It's found in Numbers chapter 6, uh, beginning in verse 24. Uh, backing up to verse 22, it says, The Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say this to them. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. So they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. And that's my hope and my thought for you tonight. Let me pray for you. Father, we just come before you right now at the end of this day, thanking you for it, thanking you for everything in it, praying that we lived it well and honorably before you and hopeful about tomorrow that it will be even better. But Father, I pray for your people tonight, that you would indeed make your face shine upon them, that you would give them peace. Lord, I pray that your presence would surround their homes. Lord, I pray that every need would be met in you, whether it's physical, financial, mental, emotional, spiritual, whatever it is, Lord, that you would take care of it. Father, I pray that you would provide for their needs financially, materially, Lord, that they would have what they need in you in this time where that's becoming a little stressful. Father, I pray that you would watch over and protect their health and keep them safe. Lord, may they know again tonight that they rest in the palm of your hand. Father, I pray that you would indeed surround them with love and peace as we find family spending more time together in close space and probably a little bit of tension in that. Father, I pray that you would just give them that peace tonight. And Father, I pray that more than anything else, they would have the assurance that your presence is all around them, that it surrounds them, guards and protects and keeps them and that your name is on them, and that it's plain that they are yours. Bless and be with them tonight, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Missed being with you earlier today. Glad I could jump on tonight. I hope you have a restful, quiet, peaceful tonight, night tonight. We'll get back on track tomorrow, and I'll see you then, okay? Good night.